In this video, we will learn how to create the paper unfolding effect in Premiere Pro. So first of all, you will need this asset. I will add the link to it in the description or the pinned comments below. So yeah, first of all, you will create a sequence and add the background. So first of all, you need an image to do the paper unfold effect. So in this case, I will use this image, Spider-Man PNG that I downloaded. Let's keep it like this and then we'll drag our asset. We'll place it on top of this. Actually, we'll place the image on top of this asset. Let's drag it out like this. Now we'll go to the effects tab and search for track mat key. We'll drag this track mat key into the paper green screen video. And then in the effects control panel, we will select the mat to be the layer where our Spider-Man image is. So that will be video 3. That way green screen will take the shape of the Spider-Man image. Uh, for some reason, it's the size got a bit small. So we'll increase the size of the PNG like this. Just make sure that it is covering the green screen properly like this if you want to increase the size of the entire thing just increase the scale of the paper animation like this that way this thing is covered nicely you can see one thing you need to keep in mind is that after the unfolding is done the whole subject should be covered in green like this so if it is covering properly you need to take care of that size it properly the spider-man image and it should be good now you need to add the ultra key effect so add this ultra key effect into the paper clip and go to the beginning select the eyedropper tool and then select this blue color i like to use the aggressive setting here if you use the normal setting there is some kind of a halo going on and so it doesn't look professional so let's just use aggressive and we should be good now you'll see this thing the blue is gone and the green screen reveals nicely now you need to duplicate the main image that you added this is the main image the spider-man image so we'll duplicate it like this the size got increased for some reason like the scale value is same but it doesn't look the same for some reason so we're gonna adjust it manually yeah 56 looks good to me let's just hide it for now now we are gonna select these two layers this paper unfolding one and the spider-man one that we used originally so we're gonna select these two we're gonna right click and we're gonna nest them let's just name them as one okay and we're gonna duplicate the nest layer again now let's just enable the top layer i mean the one we duplicated of the spider-man now we are gonna add a track mat key to the top layer the spider-man image that we duplicated so in order to select the mat now we need to keep it below these two let's just place them above let's add some tracks and place both of them above the png image let's just hide one of them for now so that you can see what's happening behind the layers so let's just hide the top one for now we added the track mat key to the base layer in our case it is the duplicated spider-man image and we're gonna select the mat to be video 4 the layer above so this is the video 4 layer the nested sequence and the scale got fucked up again i don't know what's wrong with premiere pro this thing doesn't happen in after effects so we just have to manually adjust it so that this properly yeah looks good to me there is some issue with premiere pro whenever i use the track mat key effect the scale gets fucked up so you just have to adjust that manually and guess it with your eyes to have the perfect lineup now the green screen is tracked with, with our spider-man image so if enable the top layer and just use another ultra key on the top layer use the pin dropper tool select the green screen and change the setting to aggressive we can see that our paper unfolding effect is done now you just have to add a sound effect and it should look good so that is how you do the paper unfolding effect in premiere pro but if you are too lazy for it and you want to download the preset i have found out a paid plugin for it that is available for after effects i will add the link to that in the description as well